No, it's already snowing. I'm not ready for this. I also host this live stream crochet along live on YouTube. I think this is called Dachi. Oh, cheers! Hi, friends. Welcome back to my vlog. Um, this week I've been busy making some live stream crochet along on YouTube and we also made this guy the pink soldier from the squid game and thank you for being there if you are at the live stream chat I had a good time and I've seen many of you making this little guy and tag me to Instagram thing thank you so much and also I would like to remind you that Yaya is coming to my Patreon this October so if you want to make this Yaya here you can join my Patreon and grab this exclusive crochet pattern before it's gone to start and so far I have this much waiting so hopefully everyone will stay to the last um, as you can see I tried to go live again and I mess up this time that's why here's a um, how I mess up my live stream on the squid game pink soldier tutorial and I quickly run another one which is this one so it worked the second time and here's how I mess up um, I use my phone to stream most of the time and this is how I go live I go to my YouTube at the very bottom of the app there's a plus sign then just click into it and then go live and then turn your phone like this that way it will go sideways and at this point you can key in your title and whatever all the setting you want and that's how easy it is but at my first stream I didn't flip the phone so it was set vertical but normally you can still flip your phone before you actually really go live I don't know somehow it didn't work for me I kind of need to start the second one right there so yeah um, if you're interested all two tutorial are there on my youtube channel so you can go have a look and crochet with me to make this robot girl and the pink soldier with me and i don't know why the people actually watch into the one how i mess up my life there's freaking 2k views and this one i work so hard with a robot girl they only have less than 2k Aww. And compared to my other vlogs, the views are not so much. Eek. Hi friends, welcome back to my work in progress and I'm going to show you what I make this week and this week I make a lot of pink soldiers from the squid games I also host this live stream crochet along live on YouTube maybe some of you are there for the live stream and thank you for attending I also want to shout out to those who 
、uh, tag me to your Instagram and show me your pink soldiers that you made from my pattern. Thank you so much. They are all very cute. And as you can see, that、um, pink soldiers they are wearing hot pinks. But actually, if you don't have the hot pinks, anything、um, like this this type of red will work too. And also, I made my pink soldiers into the big plush. Like this color is not really hot pink. This is、um, the red compared to this. Not sure if you can see it clearly, but maybe this way. Yeah. So you see, this is hot pink, and this is not. But they both look really great. So yeah, go ahead. You can adopt this crochet pattern from my pattern store, or you can go to my YouTube channel and watch the video again. And you know, crochet with me step by step. I will wait for you, as always. And this is the first make. And I also made this little girl from the Squid Game Red Light Green Light game. I made her head turn about like this. This one is also in my live stream, crochet along, and you can go have a look too if you want to. I had lots of fun making this project. I used to make turnable doll before, like my BB8, a couple years ago. So I hope you guys enjoy this crochet life, and I hope you guys enjoy this crochet pattern, cause. I know some of you are more like a visual learner, like I do. Some of you just don't feel like following the tutorial. That's okay too. You can find this crochet pattern from my pattern store. I'll link the link down below, and this is part of them. I also have some custom orders, which is Tanjiro from the Demon Slayer. This project I've been thinking making since. The very first time I watched the Demon Slayer, which is last year. The only reason that stopped me from making it is it has way too many details, and I don't think this is that type of project I will make for the Comic Cons, cause this could take up a long time to make just one doll and. I feel this will be the best for the custom order if it makes sense to you. And as to this part up here, have a closer look. The scar I use the needle file to create that detail. I'm very very happy about that. So if you haven't tried the needle felting onto the amigurumi, you can also check out my video right there. In that video, it will guide you step by step on how to needle felt the yarn directly to the amigurumi like that. So yeah, hmm, I'm very happy about this result. I also add these little earrings to this tanjiro. So proud of this project. I also made a netsuko jam a couple years ago, and that one has lots of details too. But if I I have a chance to make it again. I will probably make it different than the one in the picture. It's a really cool anime. If you haven't watched it yet, you can watch it on Netflix right now, I believe. And the movie is really good too. Speaking of the movie, here's another one. And this one is a Lengoku Kyojuro. If I said it right, this is another very difficult doll to make too. Lots of detail. I. Um, end up making the cape with the felt to create the flame effects, and it works really well. And all the hair, all the details, the symbolic eyebrow. Oh my god, this is super cool! And yeah, I'm very happy to have a chance to make this doll for my customer. And this Lengoku is from the Demon Slayer movie, along with Tanjiro. I'm not going to spoil alert about what's the ending of the movie. It's a great movie, though. I Like it very much.、Um, I have fun making these two projects. It's a new challenge to make these two doll into the way it look. And I hope you like the style of my Nengoku and my Tanjiro. Very happy that my customer loves them already. So, and I will ship this to my customer ASAP. Other than these dolls that I made, there's another special custom order, which is this little ducky right here.、I'm、pretty sure it's a little ducky, right? A little ducky with a knife.、Um, it's a very special gift for someone's girlfriend, and I'm very happy that it turns out exactly the way they want. Like I always said, my customers happy, and I'm happy too. And I also make another mocha kitty. It's right there this time. I add the hair to it, and it's so adorable. Now this little kitty is sitting on. On my、um, pack board in those little basket. So hopefully, hopefully this mochakiri will be adopted soon too. And 
last is the yaya. I believe you've seen this yaya from my Instagram. This yaya is my Patreon October exclusive crochet pattern. So if you're interested, you want to make yaya yourself, you are very welcome to join my Patreon, become my patrons, and you know support me from there and make this cute yaya. And this yaya is also adopted. I appreciate your love to yaya, and I guess. If you're if you're the crusaders, I will see you on my Patreon. If you want to adopt the dolls that I make, you can always reach out to me. My DM is open. My commission is open. Just you know, drop me a DM, and we can start from there. And these are what I made this week. Cheers! By the way, these are really good. I like it. Remember my pack board? Now they are the great display shelf for my dolls. And I just basically put the dolls up there when I'm done. There's another ducky right there. And this Tanjiro. This is Lengoku. And this is my Mochakiri. Yeah, they're all up there, so kind of remind me which one are done and ready to go. I really love my pack board. Yeah, I cannot wait to go back to IKEA again. from the morning walk. Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to make this um, paper flip game from Squid Game. I think this is called Dachi, right? Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. And it's very simple, very easy to make. All you need is paper like this. I didn't really measure it. I just found, found this at a paper stash that I have. So basically you will need a rectangle, something like this. As for the measurements, let me check. It's about almost 30. So 22.5 times 30. Yeah. Okay. I use two pieces of paper because I feel it gives you that extra weight to make it flip easier. I don't know. I just like it this way better. So let's get started. Here I have two pink because I don't have red. And then two blue right here. Yeah, you need two for each side. You will need two. So fold this into half. This. Same as another one. Okay, and then you place them one on top of another, like this. And then you make a triangle like this. And then fold it like this. And another one too. Right here. Maybe this this one. Same thing. I think this is easier this way, like that, and then this, and then fold again. Like this, and then one more time. I think there will be 
a better measurement, but I just use whatever I have and it works. So like that, that's number one. And I'm gonna do another one. Same thing, fold into a half. Same as another one. Like that. Place one on top of another. Looks up all right, and then starts make a circle. Another circle. Fold the triangle like this. And another one right here. You can go in here, and you can go in here. Like that. Basically, you fold your triangle at the edge of the paper. So you can close it like this. It's not a perfect but good enough. Into this pocket. Let's play the game. Okay, what color do you want? Blue? Yeah, you got a pink. Okay, who wants to go first? Me. Okay, first sister so or you going to go first? Okay, go. <laughs> wow. Okay, you try. You try. You try. Wait, I'm not gonna do it. Jumped a little bit. <laughs> so oh my god, this is hard. <laughs> wait, 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 turn around. Hey, do it. Turn ready? Are you ready? Turn. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now you go first. Oh. Good job. You go first. this work I think okay there's a switch down here okay I got this light at my local craft store and normally I I thought I can get this I think I got this one before pandemic and the reason why I got it because I want to uh, display that in on my booth for Christmas market and now this beautiful tree has been at this location for about two years now so I'm thinking maybe that would be cool if I put my pink soldier on the tree see if I can make it Ooh, that looks good that's perfect yeah there you go make this pink soldier with me and put it on your Christmas tree. It will be something like that. If you have a real Christmas tree, I believe it will look even better. Voila! I put all of them onto this tiny tree and it looked like that from this angle. 
Oh, that is so cute. I love it. So you are doing this to put the pipe away? Yeah, just like that one. Oh. He's about the perfect size for a rock. <laughs> the whole thing doesn't want to fall. These are the goodies that we got from the Asian store, our local Asian store. Found this that by Tung Hyo Nai Tang. That's why I read it. I think this one is very famous and popular, but I haven't tried before, so that's why I picked this one. I also picked this. Um, what does it say? Um, tiramisu, tiramisu creamy candy, tiramisu kowei. So yeah, and here's our favorite rice cracker. I've not, I've never tried this flavor before, but I don't know. I also picked this one to give it a try. These are all rice crackers. And this is a basic. This is basically a what noodle snack, dry noodle snack. So yeah, kids are very excited to try this one. So yeah, here we go. Let's open this one. Give it a try. Of course she is. Ooh. Can we open it? No, 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 don't open it like that. You know what? We might have to open it. Okay. Yeah, leave. Just open it nicely so we can. <laughs> Whatever. Do it, do it. Got him. Ooh. Here, we're gonna do it kind of way. He ain't doing it. Show me what's it for. So, what flavor is this one? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I think this one is the... Uh, That's really good. It's the tongu sun la mian. Tongu sun la we. I think this is uh, like pork. Is it spicy? I don't know. Pork and spice. Spicy and sour. That's so good. It's like, this is good. I can be a substitute for ramen. How about this one? I haven't tried it yet. I tried Kayan. Hey, John, no real way. I think this is a black pepper beef. Mmm. This is really good. Oh. We also make some boba today. But <laughs> someone already almost finished them all. So. I wonder yeah. who that was. <laughs> I don't know. This is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't this even one. tried it. Yeah, I did. Oh. Mm. I grabbed one while you weren't looking. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can finish this ball. Maybe next it. time. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. One more time. Like this Wang Wang is a Taiwanese brand. Their logo is a little guy like that on the package. Right there. Yeah, you can open this one. Let's give it a try. I think it's similar to something like this, the rice cracker. But Isn't it? Looks like it. <laughs> Muscles, Kyan. Show me. Mm. Rice crackers. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Enjoy. You never really see these other than yum. Mm. Oh, they're so tiny. Really right. good. Really good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's almost Try supper one. time. We gotta stop right here. Otherwise, we can't eat our Thanksgiving supper. <laughs> okay, you gotta finish your boba. I don't want to. I don't mm. feel like drinking it anymore. Mm.
I was so ready to go for a walk this morning and then I woke up to this. Oh, it's really way too early for snow to come, you know? Like, it's the middle of October. It's supposed to be fall. Like, fall, where are you? <laughs> I really don't expect the falling of the snow. It's way too early. Well, in Saskatchewan, we have about half year of the snow season which means I won't be able to go out for my morning walk for about half a year, um, which sucks. But well, this is what the cost to live here. It's beautiful though, but it's not that romantic in real life because when you actually go out for a walk in a snowy day, there might be black ice and you might slip and that, that's no fun. So, well, take care everyone. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's contents and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye!